Are you tired of strawberries? Because I sure as hell am. All right, our first bingo winner reward got away from us. Did you see it? Can you help us find it? We put up wanted posters, but I don't think anyone's biting. Well, the plan is to put it up as a standalone video, so I bet you'll be able to find it then. You say that, but I know for a fact that YouTube does not update certain people in the Discord feed. Well, that's how YouTube works. I don't have anything to do with that, and neither do you. Oh. I suppose that's a fair point. Anyway! Look, if you really want to find out what videos a channel is releasing, you go to that channel and look at their videos. That that will work every time. That makes far too much sense. I'm just saying. So after criticizing YouTube's monstrous algorithm, we're the bittersweet gamers. I'm Reese Square. I'm the opinionator. I... Maybe we made a mistake. <laughs> Our algorithmic overlord may punish us for this crime. So we've thoroughly explored the second floor. It's... Time to move on to the first floor. That's how it works. Billy? Yeah? I'm starting to get tired of strawberries now. That didn't let's, take very long. Let's go. Whee! Hey, some bathrooms. Those are important. There wasn't anything terribly important on the third or second floor, just a spicy little scene between Fuyuhiko and Akane. You'd call that spicy? That's as spicy as it's gonna get. But that doesn't mean there's nothing here. I should look around thoroughly. Such as that giant strawberry with strawberries on it. Some sort of strawberry exception, if you will. Good God! Right, let's talk to everyone first, oh. and then we'll deal with these things. Huh? B what? Is there anything you want to say to me? After all, I'm listening to Nagito, because I'm stupid! No, nothing. Remember, Kazuichi is currently suspecting Hajime because he can't help it. Yeah, I know. The possibility isn't zero. I do think that it's extremely close to zero, but... It's never gonna be zero, no matter what. If you say, it's never gonna be zero, and keep talking about zero, <laughs> here we are in this escape game. I'm just, I'm just saying, it's not a complete coincidence. Uh, I'm sorry, Hajime. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Are I you going to talk about escape room games? I don't really blame him, you know. What happened? Did you get tired again? Nope. No, I was just thinking. Why strawberry? Huh? Huh. I never noticed until now. <laughs> there are Why strawberries? is that? <laughs> <laughs> Personally, I think tangerines are totally fine, too. Or even fruits like peaches and apples. Ch Chiaki, I, I don't think there's some magical meaning behind strawberries. And well, if there is, I will give Monokuma credit for it. Well, don't you think that tangerines instead of strawberries would be kind of cute? And it would be like a brighter color theme? It'd kind of be happier, wouldn't That's it? That's true, but it does kind of look like... Well, I was about to say blood, but this is Danganronpa. So I guess he'd be using grapes or something if you wanted a blood-colored room. Now that I think about it... Maybe apples wouldn't be a good call. It's like the apples would yeah. make you feel like you're in the forest, huh? Any of those fruits would have been fine. Well, hey, hey. this is all I've been thinking about. Sorry. There's not really anything extremely interesting or important that we've looked at yet. So all I can do is think about strawberries. Well, I, I know something you can look at that'll get rid of those thoughts of strawberries. Check out that frickin' door. No, I'm gonna wait a little bit on that. So why strawberries? Who knows? Yep. Such a mystery. Yeah. You think about that. I'll worry about other things. What was that conversation just now? There has to be some meaning to it. There has to be some meaning to it! Okay, Hajime. You're not Hajime. I'm Hajime. I like that turn sign. That's pretty excellent. <laughs> Everyone is a symbol of hope. They're all completely different compared to a quitter like me. Someone like me? I'm terribly sorry that someone like me is forced to be with everyone like this. Me too. What a predictable response, Billy. <laughs> so, any thoughts, Nekomaru? I can't help but notice you're standing next to the bathroom. <laughs> this building is so peculiar. Look at the inside of this bathroom. I can't take a peaceful shit like this. So you do poop! Preventing me from taking a good shit. This house is certainly defective. Yeah, okay. I'm not gonna dignify that with a response. 
Looks like this is a bathroom. I don't know how I would have ever been able to guess if I hadn't clicked on it. Every time I see a bathroom, I get this lonely feeling. Shit! Where in the world is my constipation going to be fixed? Oh. He can't poop. And that's why. He really is experiencing despair. That was such a stupid <laughs> gag. Why did it turn out to be true? Um. <laughs> oh. You perv. <laughs> hey, hey. Well, well, well. Oh, isn't this an elevator? I can't read, I'm sorry. But that's weird. The only stairs are between this building's second and third floor. Does this mean there's a basement? There's a button next to the door. A grape image. It's the same as the button on the lounge telephone. So what, do you have to hit the button on the phone to open this? What? Why not? Maybe you use the phone to call the elevator. That's what I just said, yeah. What will happen if I press this? And so, without really thinking about it, it's just a stinking button. I tried pressing that button, but it's not reacting at all. Is it out of order, or do both people, like one person upstairs has to push the button at the same time you push this button? I don't know, it'd be worth a try, but... I don't really get it, but looks like this elevator isn't usable. I think we should check out the final dead room before Strawberry Hall. Okay. We're not going to be able to go in there. It's called the final dead room, for goodness sake. This door looks like it gives off a different vibe compared to everything else. Hey, hey. Jockey? The final dead room? Allow me to explain. Oh, God. The final dead room is a challenge given to you by Headmaster Monokuma. Only those who win the life-threatening game that occurs in this room will be able to reach the Octagon, the fabled holy land where the ultimate weapon sleeps. Now then, if you're feeling heroic and you're willing to risk your life to continue living, you should challenge the final dead room. Life-threatening game? Aren't we already in one? What the hell is that? Did he just say I can obtain the ultimate weapon if I win? Huh. How stupid. Who the hell is going to do that? Kazuichi? What? Yeah, it just seems like he'd be suckered into that kind of mentality. Why would he jump into something super dangerous? I don't think he'd ever do that. What is it, Hajime? Did you find something? That final dead room place sounds suspicious, but going inside might be a little dangerous. At the very least, it's not something you should do randomly. Nakomaru should be the person who goes in there. Oh yeah, he's an indestructible robot man. Monokuma did mention a life-threatening game. Huh? It's not even worth playing if all you get after winning is a weapon. What? Oh. Now then, the others should be at Strawberry Tower at the far back of Strawberry Hall. They all ran out while you were talking to Monokuma. Show some spirit! I wonder why he doesn't really... He's not too interested in a weapon. I don't know. If you can get... He is a weapon! If you can get something from Monokuma, it seems like it'd be worth doing. Let's get going already! I don't trust it. The there's strawberries aren't moving. There's actually way fewer strawberries here in Strawberry Hall. According to the map, Strawberry Tower is on the other side of this door. Did you see the did you see the strawberry button on yes. the open thing? Well, you know that makes the grape button look way more suspicious, doesn't it? I suppose it does. Yeah. The grape basement, the wine cellar. Okay. Huh? There's no doorknob. There's no way we can open the door like this. Ah, uh, if only there was a clearly marked button somewhere. Maybe you just have to press the button that's next to the door. It does make sense. You know, the one that has open written on it. I wonder what that means. It's funny. It's spelled just like the word open. Oh, yeah? I, uh, what? Huh? Wait, anyway, wait, seriously? <laughs> I just have to press this button then. Nekomaru raised his right arm and vigorously slammed the button more times than he needed to. That's but, breaking the button. I suppose Nekomaru is very bad with technology. 
Oh, the irony. <laughs> Steel, actually. Ah. Okay. Monomy, huh? So, this is Strawberry Tower, huh? The building is shaped like a huge circle. You know, a tower. Plus, the ceiling is so high, I can't really make it out. You know, a tower. Sheesh. More of these bright red decorations. What terrible taste. Huh? Well, with a name like Strawberry Tower, I guess the terrible decorations are intentional. That's right. This is Strawberry Tower, right? And why? Is there a grape door? Why do I see something that doesn't match the strawberry theme at all? Well, we clearly need to do something involving the grape stuff. And she has an apple in her mouth. No, no, that's a strawberry. Okay. Nekomaru, didn't you just say everyone was here? Huh? This is such terrible taste. Agreed. Well, if Monokuma did the redecorating, it's a given that this place would have terrible taste. There's a huge door at the far back of the tower, but there's a grape image on it. I thought this was Strawberry Tower, yet this is the third time I've seen a grape. Wait, this image! Doesn't it match the one on the lounge phone and also the one we found near the first floor elevator? Oh? Perhaps. This door might be the exit. Well, it's going to be very difficult to get everyone's digital route to match up to grape. <laughs> huh? Exit? Huh? Take a look at the map we received from Monokuma. Right. I see. There's a door at the far back of Strawberry Tower, but nothing is drawn on the other side of that door. Now, doesn't that mean that the exit is on the other side of this door? I mean, well, I guess the exit could be the elevator, but I mean... Don't be so confident there, buddy. Therefore, we must try to confirm it by opening this door. Well, yeah, that's, we absolutely should do that. Nekomaru let out a battle cry, grabbed the doorknob tightly with both hands. We've, we're basically in a brand new situation and in a brand new environment, and so we have to do what you would always do in those environments, which is go around everywhere and explore your limits and see how things work. Right. It's just that we're doing that inside a game where we've already done that, which was the second <laughs> in the series where we did that in the first game. <laughs> so we're pretty used to this. I mean, this is like old hat by now, right? And attempted to pry the door open. However... Hmm, even against Mechamaru, the door wins. Well, if you could just break down the door, the heck is the point of it? Well, I mean, surely this trap wasn't intended with the idea of one of them being a robot in mind. What right? does that have to do with anything, though? <laughs> what does this mean? The doorknob won't budge, not even one bit. Is it locked? Well, shit! It appears to be locked tight. Show some spirit! In that case, I should use my full power! Whoa! With a fierce roar, Nekomaru put all his power into grabbing the doorknob with Sorry, both Sorry, man, hands. it ain't gonna work. Come on. But... <laughs> Not yet. Here it comes. The incredible strength of one million horsepower! Whoa! Wait, isn't it creaking? If you break off the doorknob, we'll be stuck in here. Uh, uh, that would be bad. Is that how it works? So, so, shouldn't we discuss this with everyone else first before you attempt to force your way through? Yes. I see. Hmm, you have a point. Oh. Huh. Very well then. Even though the door would have opened soon, I'll give it a rest. Yeah, sure, buddy. It's interesting how he's become much more of a... <laughs> <laughs> Meathead. <laughs> oh. oh, the irony. It tastes like thin gruel. He's just acting dumb lately. Dumber than he was before he became a robot. Yeah. Then let's go back to Strawberry House and discuss this with everyone. Man, maybe he really is trying too hard. You know? If they'll listen to what I have to say, that is. Yeah, maybe... There's a picture on the floor. It's Usami's face. She has a strawberry in her mouth. Even this is strawberry themed, huh? Well, at least it's not an illustration of Monokuma. That I will is take true. what I can get. 
Hello, wall! Along the tower floor, there appear to be many lights built into the floor illuminating the wall. The lights are all red, to the surprise of absolutely no one. Maybe Nekomaru, but he didn't seem to be doing so well. I see. Because of these lights, the wall and the interior design of the tower look red. Probably because he's become a robot. That might be why he's not doing so well. Are you saying robots are colorblind, David? No, but I'm saying that I needed to point out that incredibly obvious thing that no one would ever have considered. Oh, that this is strawberry theme? That too. And with the lights, they're able to create the designs on the wall. Huh. However, because these lights are shining on the walls, the ceiling is pretty dark and I can't really see it. Oh, that's interesting. That's true. On both sides of the door, in the far back, stand two huge pillars. Ah, perhaps? I don't know where I could possibly be going with this. Without thinking, I turned around and checked behind me. Just as I thought, mm -hmm. there are pillars, or gateposts, on both sides of the door Nekomaru and I entered from. It appears they're standing face to face with the other pair. Indicating that this is like a transition between the two different rooms. Wait, is it just me or does it seem rowdy by the elevator over there? Okay. Did something happen? Now we're going to actually get into the, we've explored our circumstances. Now we need to figure out what the heck is going on or what we're doing. And uh, the problem is bear. The problem is always bear, Damon. You see. Where were you? I swear, making an overlord wait. That was close. Very well. But this won't happen a second time. Do you hear me, fiend? I, I, I hear you, man. I hear you. Um, oh, Hajime, were you safe? I... Apparently, Monokuma has something to say, but I have an odd feeling about this. I only have a bad feeling about this all the time, 24-7. Oh, is Hajime going to be skeptical again instead of accepting what? everything at face value? You know, like he used to be? Apparently, Monokuma has something to say. I bet it's about strawberries. But he's not going to tell us until everyone's together. It's probably something terrible again about strawberries. Or should I say straw berries? <laughs> I don't know what's worse. My recent kind of lame attempts at humor or yours. Uh. Terrible. It'd be much better if it was just terrible. Understatement of the century. You can freaking wait, bear! Why, why are you standing over here? Is this the only place they put your sprite? Is that what it is, buddy? Well, I mean, it could be that. It could be that he wants to stay away from everybody else. Or that he feels that he has to. Or... He's glaring at the bathroom with eyes full of abnormal malice. Is he really that upset that he can't take a shit? It's strange that he cares about that so much. Hey, hey! Is Fuyahiko all right? I think he was trying to... Flirt with me. Do you find that concept strange, Akane? I don't you really... are a very attractive woman. I don't really understand anything, honestly. You, you think that was flirting? I mean, I was eavesdropping in. I mean, nothing. You know, it's really strange when the camera's at this level. It just makes me feel like I'm playing Hyoko or something. That's a good point. Apparently, Monokuma has something to say. Oh, yeah? I had no idea. Did you tell Akane what you wanted to say? Damn right. Yeah, I'm pretty sure she didn't want to hear it, but I'm the only person who could say it. I don't really think she understood it either, but... Well, she still needed to hear it either way. Okay. Like, really, even if he was completely wrong, isn't it better to say it than not? Oh, it's always better to say it. Like, like I said last time, it's just as much for his benefit, too. Yo! How are you guys doing? Were you able to get a general idea of Strawberry House's side? Huh? Strawberry House's side? That's a strange thing to say. It sounds like there are other buildings. Oh my god, did no one else go to the frickin' tower and put it all together? Of course! That's why there's this thing called a contact elevator! Let me ask. Contact elevator, you say? Hey, hey. Even though it's an elevator, it's a big mistake to think that da 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 moves vertically! Da 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 da. Hmm. <laughs> 
This is an elevator that travels along a rail, so even moving horizontally is easy as pie. So calling it an elevator is a misnomer, isn't it? Because it doesn't actually elevate. Is this really the argument you want to have right now? <laughs> what can I say to that? Then does this elevator go to a different building? Yep. Uh, that's right. To Grape House. <gasps> that's why there's a grape on this door and a grape on the phone. So and you can contact it. <laughs> oh, yeah? Huh? Grape House, huh? I guess I'm hey, not surprised, um... but... The Fun House is an enormous building that's made up of other buildings. See ya later. Well, we can worry about the details when we get to Grape House. I'll be going ahead. Huh? I don't really get it, but he just wanted to tell us to go to Grape House this time, right? Um. And that we must ride that elevator, right? Are we screwed? <laughs> yeah, I, I think so. Not, that is the right question to be asking. Like in a large sense, in a broad one, not a specific one. Well, what should we do? Show some spirit! Ha! Huh, we just have to go for it. The only way we can overcome this situation is to make a move! I mean... But, but still, you know... <laughs> what? You scared? Yeah, kinda. Of course not! Ah, hell no! Why are you saying that in front of Miss Sonya, you big bully? Now look, if you want to call me a bully, that's fine, but big? Who the hell do you think you're talking to? <laughs> fine, I'll fucking go. Heh, <laughs> I'm not scared at all. Well, I don't have it as bad as Kazuichi, but I do have a bad feeling about this. But you can't just stand here and do nothing. Alright, let's go. What's that panel under the button? That's, well, like, generally if you're inside an elevator, that would be where you open up and you get the emergency phone if the elevator gets stuck. But that's if it was inside the elevator. Yeah, which it isn't. When I pressed the great button next to the door, it immediately opened. I guess you just turned it on, which is probably what was in that panel. We stepped onto the elevator and off we went to Grape House. Huh. Yeah, I don't like this. I also do not like this. Is this already moving? Hmm. If so, that'd be awesome. How so? Hey. I mean, it's not vibrating at all, right? In fact, there's really no way of knowing what's going on outside. Right? That seems significant. This is probably a really high-performance elevator if it's not vibrating all that much. Yeah. Hmm. Maybe... It's not actually moving. Ah, oh, there you go with your gut again. All right, let's open the door and make sure. You must not. Y you cannot. That is too dangerous. She might have been right, of course, but then then she goes into let's open the door and kill ourselves. Or <laughs> After staying inside the vibration-free elevator, eventually the door in front of us suddenly opened. It appears we've arrived at our destination. Why was it so intentionally creepy? I don't know, but this isn't the first time that I've been suspicious of elevators in a Dongon game. All right, this is Grape House. When else were you? Well, before, in the first game, wasn't I like, how do we even know that they're actually going down or how far down they're going or anything like that? Like as far as going down to the trial rooms? Actually, I'm the one who said that. This isn't the first time we've been suspicious of elevators in a Dongon game. No matter where I look, Everything is plastered with grape patterns. At least the color is not quite as obnoxious. Yeah. I was already fed up with the strawberry pattern, but this also feels unpleasant. Like you might get sick welcome. after a while. Okay, welcome to Grape House. And now then, allow me to explain the Grape House. What? Ta-da! This is Grape House in its entirety. So, let's start explaining the first floor. We're going to be here the entire chapter, right? Because this is all so specific, and we're suddenly in, like, an escape game, in a different type of game. I guess so, but what about the other parts, like the castle with the mice? And... Oh, none of that matters. Okay. 
what I'm saying is, is the pacing is going to be really strange because there's going to be a lot of extra exposition. Mm -hmm. Well, the reason that it jumped into this is because we're going to be here a while, I bet. Yeah. <clears throat> Aside from the fact that there's no final dead room, it's basically no different than Strawberry House. What an easy explanation. Just like how there's a strawberry hall over there, uh, there's a grape hall on this side. So why couldn't we just go through the door? And when here? you go through Grape Hall, don't worry about that. That means there's a Grape Tower. I feel like I should. The second floor of Grape House is the same as the second floor of Strawberry House. I've prepared five guest rooms of different types, along with a relaxing lounge. Okay, so we're going to have to split up between the two houses for sleeping. There's nine of us. Right. Five will be in one house and four, and four the will other. be in the other. Once again, we're being split up, just like with the disease. Hmm. Well, if we're all together, it's easier to maintain unity. But the main attraction of Grape House is obviously the third floor, the Monokuma Archive. Everyone loves the Monokuma Archive. God damn it. If you want to know about my proud accomplishments and contributions to society at large, feel free to study the literature here. I'm sure it's full of crap, but I'm sure there's also something useful in it. I'm sure it's full of all kinds of suspicious information, including our student profiles. Mm -hmm. And now then, this concludes the tour, but... I believe it'd be difficult to understand if I just explain with words. Are you going to put on a puppet show? So you should all use your own two feet to check out the inside of the building. Oh. Hmm? That's all from me. Any questions? Nothing I mean, to answer. Like, like, I'm starting to get hungry. Where's the food, anyway? Damon. Do you see what's behind her? Yeah, that freaking creepy statue of this Sakura. Pumping. That is Sakura. That isn't is it? Sakura. Huh? Is that necessary? We're not robots like you, or are you trying to hint that we don't actually need to eat because this isn't real? Well, maybe a little bit of that, huh? Hey! What? What are you saying? What are you talking about complicated stuff for? Of course it is necessary that we eat. But it's supposed to be an escape game, so how can there be any tension if there's no time limit? That's the most straightforward way of looking at it, isn't it? And there's all these images of food everywhere. Maybe you can satiate yourself on hopes and dreams. <laughs> Considering everything, my suspicions of Akane potentially committing murder have drastically increased. So, I've decided to quite cleverly, <laughs> and totally not artificially, use your stomachs as the time limit! Don't tell me. What do you mean? In other words... Well, simply put, <laughs> it means kill someone before you starve to death. Uh, you can't supplement electrolytes here. That means you've probably only got about one to two weeks. Within about three, four days, probably three, fatigue will begin to set in. Headaches, soreness. Oh, is there any water here? Maybe you've only got three days after all. <laughs> oh my god. No, there's probably water in the bathroom. We can all drink from the sink. Or the toilet in a pinch. But seriously, without, like, salt at a bare minimum... That's bad. Starving to death is actually quite possible in a fairly short amount of time. Lies. What the heck? That's... That's terrible! <laughs> if you're planning to kill someone or do anything else, I highly recommend you make your kill as soon as possible. Wouldn't want the little chum-chum to rum-rum-rumble. Wait, we're saved. Nekomaru's eyes leak cola and tea. There is that. <laughs> It'll be too late if you get so weak you have no energy to kill. Akane would probably last the longest with before she starts to feel weakness because of her physical condition. Uh, I don't know. Hey! 
Hey, hold on. Really, the person what? who's the biggest is the one who should last the longest. Gundam, I think. I think Gundam has the biggest build. But well, he also has the highest weight, and I mean that's kind of what it. Kind of, well, he... as it turns out, uh, due due to my uh, experiences with uh, with fasting for uh, nutrition, various health benefits, and weight loss. I actually know quite a bit about this subject. Uh, most people's conception of what starving is is completely different from how it actually works. But who cares about that? You've already talked to me about it enough. Starve? What the hell? David, how much more of this do we have to take until he's satisfied? This is yet another motive that seems to be aimed at a specific person. I don't know about that. The escape room is the motive, not the lack of food. But isn't the lack of food part of the escape room? And isn't that generally how it works? The motive itself isn't necessarily directly related? I, I mean, as the person who's always accusing Akane, I think it being something as simple as she got hungry, let's take a character's comic point like that, and, that, and I'm going to aim this at a specific person, I think that's way too simplistic. Damn it. Uh... Was he serious about there being no food? I don't want I, that. No way! That's the one thing I don't want! I don't want to have to start sobbing again! I don't mind starving as long as I can eat! Just let me eat already! I'm already cracking! Oh god! A Akane! Sheesh! As soon as she learned there was no food, she was overcome by hunger. Obsessions are truly annoying. Achoo! Yeah, why don't you go stand and look at the toilet some more? But at least try to stay calm! Now's not the time for you to panic! Hey. Well, being loud here isn't gonna help us, so... I disagree! For now, we should explore the inside of this building, too. Right? After all, if you don't give up, you're sure to find hope. Isn't that right, Fuyuhiko? Huh? Y yeah That's right. All right. Then let's get started. The same pairing as before is fine, right? Hey, hey, hey! Hold on! This time around, I really want to pair up with Miss Sonya. Like... She already left with Gundam. Oh. Darn it! Mm. Looks like you're being avoided, not just rejected. Mm. Guess she thinks you're annoying. Hey, hey. Hey. Kazuichi, I understand that you're feeling down, but we better get going. Damn right. Akane, you too. How much longer are you going to stay shocked? Come on, let's go. With heavy steps, everyone left to explore Grave House. And I'm telling you, I'm not flirting, okay? Now then, uh, the, where should we start? Since we're on the first floor, it might be okay if we start with Grape Tower and then explore the first floor. I see. Ugh. So you're saying you're going to start with the most suspicious place, and, huh? And nearest place. All right, then let's start with Grape Tower. Oh, I'm so Jesus hungry for Spirit. grapes. Let's I start with grapes. Grape Tower. <laughs> I was thinking that I was really craving a bowl of strawberries, but now just the... Uh, ah! Anyway, let's find the exit quickly. Damn it! There's no way I'm going to let myself starve to death in here. Yeah, so about this statue. What is this muscular bronze statue? It's probably an ornament, but it doesn't fit the ambiance at all, though I feel strangely comforted by looking at it. Hmm. Ah, oh, there's a name written on here. Ogre? Does that mean it's a statue of an ogre? Why is it wearing a sailor uniform? Hmm. What does it mean that there's a statue of Sakura? <laughs> so there's a bathroom here as well. Regardless, I still cannot shit. That's the only downside to this body. Maybe there's a few more. The only downside? Your optimism is praiseworthy. Different people have different values and value different things. Huh? What happened? Are you planning to go back to Strawberry? No, we're just looking around! There's no time for that! We need to charge you Grape Tower! All right, all right, jeez. I'm starting to get pumped up! Look at that statue. 
for some reason, I'm starting to feel a little excited. Oh yeah? Do you have any thoughts on that? I don't know if it's the Asahina that I appear to look <laughs> like, or if it's the Sakura that I appear to... Uh, why is there a statue like that in a place like this? Maybe she wants to fight it. Wait, is this creature inside this building? I feel my blood boiling. I don't think so. This is probably in the hall just to garnish it. Can huh? I make a joke? Garnish? You can eat garnishes, right? Well, I mean, they're mostly there to look pretty. But you I can eat the garnish! <sighs> you mean like a food <laughs> garnish? Is this food? Is it tasty? The statue is a food? It is a tasty? What? No, no, Akane, stop! It doesn't taste good it, at all! It's not food, it's just a decoration! Maybe if I get past the hard outer shell, it's softer on the inside! This is the person you're stuck with, Fuyuhiko. I am definitely not flirting with her. <laughs> My god, can't I just be concerned about the welfare of another fucking person? <laughs> But look at that, she's frickin' nuts. <laughs> Starving us like seems pretty straightforward for Monokuma. I know. That piece of shit. How dare he pull such a dirty trick on civilians? That's interesting that he's calling non-Yakuza civilians, because that's what he means. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, Nekomaru, can you figure out um, how to open the door? Huh. You know, Fuyuhiko really has a point with that. But what do you mean? The whole civilians thing? Or... No, no, no. That, I mean, that's cute, but... Or how straightforward this is. The motive wasn't our bellies. It the was motive the, yeah. is the killing, or the escape room game. Yeah, we can't get out unless we kill someone. I'm just not sure we can actually starve to death in here. Fuyuhiko pointing that out is interesting. Like, don't you think just threatening to kill us all by not feeding us is out of character for Monokuma. Thus, perhaps it just isn't real. Look, there's a dang statue of Sakura here. That's true. Okay, we, we've, we've largely left that stuff alone ever since we got the record that talked about the first game because we need more information to really say something, but Because why? otherwise you could use it to explain either one. Well, not only that, it's just rank speculation with literally nothing to back it up. It's a start of information, but not enough information that we can use to actually come to a conclusion. Right. So I'm just leaving all of it alone. But Sakura being there, like the statue, I'm, I just don't think that's random. Of course it's not random. It can't be random. Rape Tower is beyond this door, right? I don't know why I asked that question. It seems pretty straightforward. Just like Strawberry Hall, I need only to press this button. Normally, like a regular person. Show some spirit! All right! Leave it to me! And he's like, the button man! And he's like, runs down the hall with a big dust cloud right behind him. And then he's just like, Robo Punch! And there's like this big explosion when he hits it. That's what it's gonna be, right? Nekomaru raised his voice and vigorously slammed the button more times than he needed to. Oh, he just did the Billy strategy then. Okay, shut up. <clears throat> it, it's not opening. That's weird. When we were at Strawberry Hall, this should have opened. <laughs> Almost like if this door could open, there would be no need for an elevator. But what do you mean by that? Why have an elevator that can move between the things if there's a room right, an interconnecting hallway that, that connects them? Mm. There's something so it's not, to that. So what you're saying is this isn't a separate place, but the connecting, the connecting room between the two spaces. Yes. I mean, we know there's a great door on the other end. So if this is that door, which makes sense, it's just, look, I, I'm in the position where I'm not drawing conclusions. I'm gathering information. Yeah, yeah. That's weird for me to just sit and absorb everything without saying anything, but it does happen. It right? happens from time to time. I also am failing at not saying stuff. Ah, well, you know. <gasps> Don't tell me it's out of order. Find time for it to break down. Well, it obviously shouldn't. Ah, good chunk. That's a pretty good noise. <clears throat> <clears throat> Did, did you hear something? I don't actually have ears, so unless you're thirsty... No, 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 you're fine. And that's when Nekomaru started shouting, because that's totally not what he was doing before. 
Mm. Yeah, okay. So it's not the same room, but... Or maybe that's what the Or this tower was. is connected to the other tower. Like, chair, or strawberry tower is on the other side of this door. Either, either that or something, like, by changing the lights on the wall, it moved it. But it also, notice the decal on the floor as well is different. What is it? How do it, you know it's a decal? Well, the illustration. Monomi with grapes. How do you know that's an illustration? Why isn't it just lights? Oh. That's what I'm saying. Oh. Like, th 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 this probably is the same room, and that by changing the lights, it changes it from Grape Tower to Strawberry Tower. And that was and, probably and what the seals, delay was for. And seals the other room. Yeah. Yeah. The door opened. But what was that pause just now? Why didn't the door open right away? I'm suspect about the whole thing. I see. So this is Grape Tower. Hmm. The structure of this building doesn't seem all that different compared to Strawberry Tower. It's almost like what those two guys were talking about. Yeah, you're right. The building is the same circular shape, and the ceiling is just as high and hard to make out. <laughs> However, this wall is green! Strawberry Tower's wall is red! Now, speaking of different, there's something blatantly different over there. Yeah, that's gotta be the case. That this is the same room. There's a picture on the floor of Usami's face with grapes in her mouth. This feels different from Strawberry Tower. The Usami picture over there had a strawberry in her mouth. But what's truly different? It's, yes? It's the door, of course. <laughs> I'll get to the door in a second, Hajime. Yeah, like all the details are such that changing the lighting is, is the easiest way to do that. Along the tower floor, there appear to be many lights built into the floor illuminating the wall. I feel like I've already said this. The lights are all green. Get it? Here they're green, there they're red. Because of these lights, because of these lights, the walls and interior design of the tower look green. They're even telling it to you. And with the lights, they're able to create the designs on the wall, so why not the floor as well? However, just like the last time, because these lights are shining on the walls, the ceiling is pretty dark and I can't really see it, and I bet there's something with that. Some important clue on the ceiling. On the Grape Tower door at the far back, there's a strawberry image on there, to the surprise of no one. A strawberry door inside Grape Tower. That sounds complicated. It's like the opposite of Strawberry Tower. Wouldn't be surprised if the murder takes place here. Yeah, and then that'll that'll have something to do with it. Yeah. As I recall, there should have been a grape image on the far back door of Strawberry Tower. Huh? Hmm. So on the strawberry side, there's a grape door. And on the grape side, a strawberry door. Have we got this figured out yet? <laughs> have, have we established this enough for everyone? That's even more complicated! Dude, you're not dumb. Why are you so dumb now? Maybe being turned into a robot has made me dumb. You ever think of that? Yeah, ah. That's kind of where I was going, yeah. <sighs> However, this time... I have no basis for this belief. This door might connect to the outside. I see. It's obvious by looking at this map that this tower and hallway are in the complete opposite configuration of the other one. I mean, since there's nothing beyond the far back door of Grape House. Huh. I, I think that elevator has something to do with it. These might not be connected in any way, shape, or form. They might, or uh, they might just be the exact same room all around. Like they have the exact same building. Oh, like everything inside switches around when you go into the elevator? Something most like that. Most of the lights would take care of most of it since it has an identical layout. So we think we haven't been through enough of it, but then certain features just move in or out, perhaps. Or yada yada cryogenically digitize. <laughs> I don't know. We're still gathering information. If so, the only thing we can do is try it. Hold it. I heard what you guys were discussing, but it'd be pointless to even try, I think. Like, what? seriously, guys, come on. What, what, what did you say? Thank you, Chiaki! Before we get to that, why are you here, Chiaki? Weren't you with Nagito and Kazuichi? You haven't been stalking us, have you? I was getting really irritated just listening to you two jokers. You're doing things that don't matter, probably. Huh. 
Hmm. It's exhausting to be around those two, you know. So you ran away. It was kind of the opposite of what I said the first time. <laughs> well, by all means. Well? Um, that door doesn't lead outside. I think it's pointless to even try it out. Definitely. Ah, she seems to have made the same connection we did. <clears throat> Definitely, you say? It's rare for Chiaki to be that certain. Yep. I have a good reason for that. I think I found out the secret of the fun house's structure. The secret of the structure? Want me to tell you? Do you want me to explain it to you? I can also summarize the events of the Twilight Syndrome murder case while I'm at it. No. <laughs> well, pay close attention to each house's relationship to its ex to its respective tower. Hey, hey. First, try to remember the first floor of Strawberry House. From the elevator, Strawberry Hall is on your left-hand side, right? And if you walk along it, you'll end up at Strawberry Tower, right? Yeah. See? Okay, so they are I was looking at the other buildings, because, you know, I don't have the whole map in my dang head yet. <laughs> it's okay, so it is a different place. Yeah, not only are the rooms a different shape, but also the angle of everything. Yeah. On the other hand, Grape House, from the elevator, Grape Hall is on your right-hand side, right? And if you walk along it, you'll end up at Grape Tower, right? Um... Now, here comes the main point with those two buildings. Whoa! Ah, so you were here all along! Oh, well, we'll get to this point one day, I guess. Hey, hey! Hey, Chiaki, don't go running off on your own. I was worried. Nagito, not really. Hey. You disappeared so suddenly. I was worried about you. Kazuichi, Nagito... You... Thanks to your disappearance, I was left all alone with Nagito. Man. <laughs> was that annoying for you? That's right. <laughs> Hell yeah, it was. I don't want to be alone with a creep like you. Sorry, I'm such a creep. <laughs> <laughs> this is trouble, I see. So it's not just Hajime. You don't trust me either, oh, Kazuichi. Hey. Hey, are you okay? Have you stopped trusting other humans? Shut up! Shut up! Well, yeah, thanks to you, bastard. Although it's not so strange that I don't trust you. <laughs> Maybe we're more alike than I thought. I mean, that's not how I think at all. <laughs> oh, good, everyone's here. Huh? Oh, you all came. <laughs> good timing. We didn't have to waste any time gathering people. Huh? That was quick. Well, I thought your investigations would take more time. Yeah. I didn't even get a chance to kill Hajime. I mean, uh, uh, uh... Well, yeah. There aren't many areas to search, and we didn't find any good clues. Damn it. Right now, the only thing I've found out is... <laughs> there's seriously no food anywhere! This ain't funny at all! Damn it. I heard... That is super painful to die from starvation. Oh, that's not true at all. Um, I've actually read some books, like novels, actually. Like, basically, the, the protagonist and his family were starving to death for, for half of the book. Jeez. Okay, and they talked about it, it like, at great length. Uh, apparently, you really just don't even get hungry anymore after a certain point. When your body starts to eat itself, I guess. Well, there is such a thing as starvation mode. Your body doesn't enter starvation mode from you not it, not eating. Your body enters starvation mode for, for you starving to death. If you're not in a position where you you can potentially die, your body won't go into starvation mode. Oh. Okay, it takes a long time for this to occur. Is anyway. It usually the lack of water that kills someone before lack of food? Yeah. Yeah. No, that'll kill you really, really fast. But, like, you just don't get hungry anymore, and, and you just start to... Like, your your body starts cutting off the supply of energy to everything, so you don't even care. you Because you don't have you don't have the energy to have to really be emotional. Right. And, and, oh, that's and, kind of fascinating. Now, that is the point where your body is consuming its own muscle. Muscle is the thing that actually gets consumed last. I need to stop talking about this, because I actually know kind of a lot about it, and there's, like, caveats to everything I've been saying. <laughs> And the problem is I want to start talking about them. And that may actually be relevant right now. But in any case, we'll worry about that when we're all sitting around hungry. But it's not painful. Before that happens, why don't we, you know, 
The hamsters that Gundam carries around? Dude, they're like 200 calories tops. It's not even worth it. You insolent fool. You imbecile. What are you implying? <laughs> I'm sorry. What were we saying in that bingo video about <laughs> Kazumichi and cracking? <laughs> We were saying that Kazuichi was going to crack, is what we said in the video. <laughs> that was close. Kazuichi, you should be grateful to Sonia. If you'd gotten your hands on my four dark divas of destruction, your body would be incinerated by hellfire! He pulls out like a can of hairspray and then like a lighter and just like... <laughs> I, I think he meant they were going to kill him. Ah, ah. Hey, hey. But are the hamsters going to be okay without food? They have way faster metabolisms, you know. Fortunately, the flowers blooming in Strawberry House's indoor park are cursed flowers from Hell's Garden. They're sunflowers! Those flowers are very rare, you know. Thank goodness we were so lucky. Ah! Uh, uh -huh. As long as those seeds are there. The four Dark Divas of Destruction shall not lose a single hit point. <laughs> I am relieved to hear that. Also, on the off chance, one of you should attempt to consume one of the Divas. <laughs> Are you implying it's going to burst out of our chest like an alien? You catch on quick, as expected, of the ultimate mechanic. <laughs> Come now, do not give yourselves over to regret. Oh. Now then, let's listen to your reports and see what you guys have found. In other words, don't eat the hamsters or you'll die. Personally, I'd rather let Chiaki continue her talk, but... Oh well, I should listen to what everyone has to say. Now then. Is it fine if Gundam, Fuyuhiko, and I represent our teams and give the reports? Damn right. I, I don't see why it would matter, but okay. Why would anybody say no? <laughs> 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 Rejoice, mongrels. I've discovered something that you fiends will be happy to hear about. Of course. Yes, our team's discovery is number one. We shall not lose. This is a competition, right? No! I think their priorities are off slightly. Now then. Allow me to give you a brief report. Someone like me? Since I'm the one who made this discovery, it's just as important as I am. Are you implying I can ignore it? Yeah. No good at all. Which means it's not that important at all. Hey, bastard. <laughs> Quit with the self-hate and just hurry up and say it already. Um... Well, it's about the third floor of Grape House. See? Do you remember what Monokuma said about a Monokuma archive on the third floor? I actually tried to go there. It seems like it's the most important thing here. Jeez. Dear God. Like the name suggests, it was an archive full of stuff about Monokuma. The button, the mallet. Oh my God, is that him popping out of a present in the top left there? <laughs> Surprise! It's one of those dolls from a Monokuma theater on the right. I don't want to get that as a gift. It reminded me of those celebrities who build their memorial house in their hometown. Hmm. And it looks like we don't ever need to go in there. Ever. For any reason. None at all. Actually. That's funny, but we really should. Oh, also, I found a lost child at the Monokuma archive. You what? What the hell? A lost child? Oh, what? it's not important, though. Uh-huh. Where did she go? What? Are you serious? He said there was going to be a transfer student, didn't he? Yeah, but he was lying. Right? <laughs> hey! Hey! New person who isn't involved in the killing <laughs> game and thus is an obscenely important presence here. Don't just hide. Come on out. This is, this is, oh. Hello. I know you're all disappointed, but. Yeah, that's very disappointing. We were thinking it was going to be something brand new and. Well. 
like I said, it really isn't important at all. Like, seriously, not important. <laughs> not important. No importance whatsoever is what I truly feel right now. <laughs> For once, I agree with you, Nagito. Oh, so the lost child is you. Okay. Right? Right? That's how people react, right? Well, I had a general idea of how you all would react. <laughs> it's okay. I won't be depressed anymore. I'm used to being treated so poorly. <laughs> how sad. It's so sad to get used to it. She seems a little tense. Um, um did Monokuma bring you here as well, Monomi? <laughs> yes, I'm so ashamed of myself for getting carelessly tricked by him. This is a terrible thing to inflict on us, having Monomi here too? <laughs> He's created the worst possible scenario. I'm a failure as a teacher. I have no right to guide everyone. Like... Nobody here considers you a teacher to begin with. <laughs> but I'm honestly happy that you're hate... That you... <sighs> but I'm honestly happy that you're here. You can't eat her! Oh, Moto me! Hmm? Huh? <sighs> hey. Are you a complete stuffed animal? Is there any part of you left that's still rabbit meat? I'm not a cyborg! No! I'm expected to be food! <sighs> Akane, I don't think Monomi is edible. You? How do you know? We won't know unless we try! Stop! No, I definitely don't want it to end this way. We should first listen to the reports that the others have gathered. I don't have anything to contribute. Huh? Jackie, when I realized she suddenly disappeared, I couldn't believe she went to you of all people. But then why is that? And now everyone's gathered here all of a sudden. What's going on? Well, because he suspects Hajime, of course. <laughs> Chiaki and Hajime have always spent a lot of time hanging out together. You better not say I lured everyone here. Uh, well, it's not like that, but... But you look like you already knew this place was important, so you were totally casing this area. He's just coming up with every reason he can to accuse him. Being suspicious of Hajime, I think, is actually really worthwhile. It just seems like he's going too far. Like, every possible thing he can use to support his theory, he's coming up with. Isn't that what you do, though? Can you really criticize that? I suppose not. Quite frankly, isn't that how we behave? Kind of, yes, but I don't want to admit it. Why? Is there something wrong with it? No, so no. So you're saying you it. should not gather evidence and then present the evidence in an attempt to convince <laughs> others of your position or at least explain your potential position? No, what you're saying is correct. At least Kazuichi is actually... Like he's, seriously? He, like he said before, he doesn't lie about it when you confront him about it. You could say that he's actually he actually respects Hajime enough to tell him this straight up. Yeah, yeah, that's a good way of looking at it. I think you're right. So once someone is suspicious of me, anything I do will look suspicious to them, huh? What should I do? That is how it works, and that's how we've looked at Hajime the entire game. That's also a fair point. <laughs> I can feel her gaze. I feel Akane's feral stare. It's like I'm being licked from head to toe. Well, she is a wild beast. Much more of a beast than a human. Acts according more to nothing. Much more of a beast than Monomi is. Acts according to nothing but her instincts. Doesn't really care about things outside of her instincts. Doesn't understand the interaction between humans because she's really more likely... <laughs> to act as if she were someone's dog or perhaps a bear. <laughs> I think a bear is a closer analogy. Yeah, you're right. It's a much better analogy. It's just in this case, she's really thinking with her gut. Yeah, in more ways than one. But it feels kind of good to be wanted. <laughs> what am I saying? I don't mean it like that. Boy, you sure are a, a hated, lonely figure, huh? Uh, that's not it, okay? Don't misunderstand, okay? So if you were to, like, totally come clean with stuff, or, you know, maybe maybe things would be different, or if you were to, I don't know, maybe, like, 
Just clue us in? Stop telling us to have nothing but blind faith in each other. I'm not saying don't have faith in each other, but it's like, it just made me so mad when she's like, you shouldn't do that. It's, I mean, it just don't sounds like... Don't suspect your friends, even though one of your friends killed someone else. Yeah, like, what do you mean, don't suspect your friends? Like, most of your friends, you wouldn't suspect. But there was the one what killed somebody. You should suspect him. It's immature. It's it's foolish. That That's the thing. Yeah. Stop yeah. one or preferably both of those, and we'd have a different opinion of you. <laughs> Personally, I'd rather let Chiaki continue her talk, but... But I totally got run over, so y'all either talk about it later... Or in the trial or something. Uh, I'm sorry, Chiaki. I think. I, but everyone's reports are important too. I should get those over with first. So that the story can move on before I have a chance to talk to Chiaki. Alright, buddy! Right. I'm sure the others already know, but let me tell you just in case. The second floor of Grape House also has guest rooms similar to the ones in the second floor of Strawberry House. Probably got a phone too to Strawberry House. Hm. But instead of being covered with strawberry patterns, they're covered with grape patterns. Also, also like the guest rooms, there's a similar lounge here as well. There's also a phone in the lounge, too. Sure enough, strawberry button. Instead of the great button that was on the phone in Strawberry House's lodge, there's a strawberry button on the phone in Grape House's lodge. Like, you figure out what you do with these phones, right? It makes sense. <laughs> also, as a detail that does not matter, the portrait of Kamukuda Izuru, or whatever, I his, think you're right. whatever his weirdo name was, there's no green filter on it. You're right. That is an unimportant detail, but the other picture had a green tint on it, or had a had a pink tint, like or a pink. pink filter over the picture. This one doesn't. It's the most important thing <laughs> here. <laughs> Truth bullet added. Now then. Now, I'm just guessing at this point. And I'm pretty sure everybody already knows where I'm going with this, but <laughs> it is possible that we can use those two phones to communicate with each other. For sure. So the picture on the buttons shows where each phone connects to. The picture on the buttons shows where each phone connects to. Why did I just repeat the same thing she said? The picture on the buttons shows the same thing it connects to. The goods are in the fucking lobby. That's probably it. Our team's discovery is number one. We shall not lose. Hurry up and ask Gundam about it, because that's what was decided. What does Sonya think these reports are supposed to be about? <laughs> At least he's getting into it. <laughs> no, then. Are you mortals ready? Ready for my fabulous discovery? Yes. Let me tell you this. I won't let you say such nonsense like, I forgot. Morokuma said it himself before we arrived here. He said there are ship parts in the fun house. Hey, That's hey. true. And that could also be a good motivation for Kazuichi to kill someone. Yeah, like, here we go. Here's the way off the island. And now... And he's the one with the know-how to use them. All you've got to do is get out of here, and then we've got the ship parts. So if if Kazuichi were the victim, or as Billy suggested in uh, in our bingo reward video, that he's going to be the killer, then the other poignant thing is, A, even if we got out of here, even if Kazuichi got out of here, you wouldn't be able to use those to make a ship and go anywhere, because there's nowhere to go. Good point. And the other poignant thing is, B... If that's what he does, we're going to get out of here and no one can make a ship with the ship parts. That's what I'm thinking. Wow. If that's the case, that's like the 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 poignancy of... of, of Mono, the, the actual aspect of Monokuma's trap instead of the one he presented to us. Yes, yes. Like, if Kazuichi is cracking because, as we've discussed plenty of times, he's not the most stable person. No, 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 no. He is not the most psychologically resilient, hardy person. Yeah, yeah. Um, if he's presented with a bunch of stuff that's right up his alley, you know? Alternately, you could say, why would he kill to get out if he has the ship parts? He wouldn't get the ship parts unless someone killed. But if you pull off a murder, you get out anyway. Then you win. That's true. No, 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 I'm, mm. I'm, I'm just, I'm just trying, no, sort of trying to said. walk through different ideas, and that's something that, that sort of occurred to me. Anyway, it, 
Well, that's that, something to consider. That that could happen. I hope it doesn't, but I mean, we, we don't think Kazuichi's going to make it through the game. Maybe we're wrong. I mean, we pegged Yasuhiro as the first to die in the last game. But well, we, to be fair, in all the demos, I do die. That's why it's funny. But in the last game, at the beginning of the last game, we didn't really understand the atmosphere. We didn't understand how the game worked. We didn't understand what the rules of the universe were. And but now we do, yeah. and the game's using that against us. Are you kidding? We've used that successfully to, to predict every murderer so far. Right, right. But I mean, the game has still been using that against us. C could it be? <laughs> Kazuichi. And you lowly human. Did you just put me above everyone else? Or below them? Below, of course. Oh. You tried to eat my divas. Fall to your knees and show your gratitude to me. The overlord of ice of the destroyed world of death. The what? Feast your eyes on this! <laughs> Behold, a motor! It's a ship part! Uh... That was the thing we were missing. They didn't have engines. I understand that's a tiny little thing, but we didn't have anything before. Yeah, because if there were engines, he could have fixed the airplane. Yeah. Gundam, just like Damon said, that engine isn't going to power anything. But based on its extremely small size, isn't that like a toy boat engine? <laughs> that, that's just a radio controlled toy! Fine. Allow me to tell you a little old story. I was born as a result of a union between a human and a demon, and my existence was shunned by both races. Perhaps it's because nobody has ever bought me a toy before. But I believe this is truly remarkable. That's really shut sad. Up, shut up! I'm not asking about that! You mean the ship part you found was just some radio-controlled toy? I wonder how serious he was. I actually think he wasn't serious at all. I think that that's just part of the, the Chunibyo evil devil Gundam. The Gundamese? Yeah, Gundamese persona. He's too emotionally well-adjusted to actually have a problem like that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you totally got tricked! I told you a lie! Didn't I? <laughs> I never said a single word about the ship being real! Stupid! Idiot! Moron! <laughs> A, I want to punch him, but that's not really any different. And B, <laughs> this ain't Motokuma 1. This is Motokuma 2. That's true. Doesn't this have a lot of implications? I know, it's hard, it's hard to take what he's saying at any kind of face value. I'm sure that some of the stuff he says is true, but, but so much more of it is so obviously lying, and he even gloats about it. So, how do you know which one is which? I also want to punch him. Yes! Ah! I agree, Kazuichi. I agree. You should see his face. Alternately, maybe there's real ship parts somewhere, but... Yeah, that could be a trick, what he just said. I mean, that's and the thing. has become a statue. Once you're suspicious, can you ever really stop being suspicious? I'm just trying to talk so Kazuichi staring here can be there longer. Oh, no, he's <laughs> gone! Looks like we don't even have the strength to get upset. I mean, I'm not really surprised. It might be better if we leave him alone for a while. I don't think we should leave him alone. He'll just stew. Speaking of Stu, clearly at this low energy state, his body's metabolism will slow down and he won't consume as many nutrients. It's probably safer in the long run. I think. So it was definitely a waste of time to believe Monokuma. If so, what he said about our student profiles might be a lie too. I mean, technically it's not a lie, but he admitted to lying. Yeah. But our situation is getting so grim that I can't really focus on that right now. Hey, hey. I mean, the first, the first motive he gave was, like, to flush all the plot twists and motives of the first game down the toilet. And ever since then, he's doing weird psychological manipulation stuff that instead of being based on base instincts... Yeah, like, the first fears, game was, like, greed, um... Uh, Keep it, like, personal secrets, things like that. Like, sort of uh, motives that would appeal to everyone. But, but on a really base level, 
indeed, most people resisted all of those. Uh huh. But certain people were very vulnerable to those specific things and and did and did give in. That was where we had a lot of disagreements too. Come to think of it. Uh, anyway. In this game, there are far more complex motives that have multiple layers to them and do appear to be targeting specific people. Maybe they're not necessarily, but they do have... It certainly seems that way. A, they definitely have a bunch of layers, and he doesn't tell you the entire truth about each part. Um, that was the last report, right? And this episode's dragging on, too, so is it okay if I go now? This is what you mentioned earlier, right? About the structure of the funhouse? Let me ask. The structure of the funhouse. Well? Well, I've come to a conclusion. The grape tower that we're in currently, and the strawberry tower we were in earlier, I think they're actually the same building. The two towers? What's a good book? Are the same building, you say? Well, most people consider it to be the weakest <laughs> of the trilogy, but I don't know about that. I see. What makes you think that? See? Their positions. If this is coming up now, wow. is this, yeah. does it make it less true? If, if we've already come up with it, is it actually the case? And if, and if it does come up before the murder, then it can't really be used to obfuscate the murder, can yeah, it? Yeah, because now everybody knows about it, right? Maybe it's a timing thing. Well, anyway, hmm. inside Strawberry House, Strawberry Hall is on your left when your back is facing the elevator, right? But inside Grape House, Grape Hall is on your right when your back is facing the elevator, right? And so if we think about it and put those two together, mm. the two towers are the same building, and each house connects to the center. That's the building structure that comes to mind, anyway. I mean, what she mm. said is right so far. That's what we thought, too. What? Strawberry Tower and Grape Tower are the same building? But that might be a possibility. Come on, take a look at that door. Isn't that strawberry image the same one that's on the elevator and the telephone? Then, in the same way, wouldn't that image on the door also be showing where it leads to? I like the incredibly in-depth discussion of a, something kind of simple. <laughs> if that's the case, it would mean that Strawberry House is beyond that door with the strawberry image on it. Um. As well as the opposite. The grape door that was at Strawberry Tower would lead to Grape House. Meaning we opened the Grape Hall's door when we came in here. So... Meaning, depending on which door we use, this tower changes to either Strawberry Tower or Grape Tower. Perhaps... Which means, when you look at the other side of the Grape Hall door that we used to come in here... Yep. Yep, the grape picture should actually be on here. Hey. And all we gotta do is confirm it, right? If we can close that door from the other side... Mm, that might be impossible. Huh? Impossible... why? Well, Hajime and Nekomaru were the first ones to enter Grape Tower, right? <gasps> What's wrong with that? Well... When you two entered Grape Tower from Grape Hall, didn't it take a little while for the door to open after you pressed the button? Huh? Good chunk was the noise. Yeah. So just as I assumed. Huh. How'd you know? Um, when I was walking around by myself, I went back to Strawberry House for a while. I felt like there was still something I missed when suddenly the Strawberry Hall door automatically closed in front of me. Huh? The door automatically closed? Yep. Huh. Again, she's getting huge amounts of information all on her own and presenting it early, which is pretty fascinating. And she just happened to wander over to Strawberry House? Well, I mean, that doesn't necessarily was... seem out of character for her. But... Yeah, that doesn't seem out of character at all. And afterward, no matter how much I pressed the button, the Strawberry Hall door wouldn't open. Um, but why? Perhaps. They're... Yeah, that. that yeah, I was so about it's like to... an airlock, kind of. Like, you can't... I was going to say it's because there was, there was, like, somebody in here. But in any case, it, it's this. Yeah. The doors to Strawberry Tower and Grape Tower must be designed so only one can open at a time. And since this is really complex, this is probably what the murder is going to have to do with. Well, maybe that analysis is a little, a little too meta, huh? <laughs> I mean, if both doors open at the same time, we'd easily find out that both towers are the same building. 
but since this has already come up, don't we know? So what does it matter? Yeah. If that happens, it wouldn't be a funhouse anymore, right? Well, it's not like the building can change its design just because somebody figured it out. That's true. <laughs> the building's like, oh, you got me. Time to change everything up. Zero gravity. Then the reason the strawberry hall door automatically closed in front of you... So what I mean is... Was it because we opened the grape hall door? Yep. When that happened, the grape hall door didn't open because it was waiting for strawberry hall's door to close. If you think about it like that, it makes sense, right? Like... Like, you're saying all this hard stuff I don't get, <laughs> but aren't you forgetting the most basic problem? The color of the walls in Strawberry Tower and Great Tower are different, you know? I thought she was going to be talking about food. Yeah, me too. That's exactly what I was about to say. I mean, we know why, but this is actually pretty insightful for her. Sometimes she does that. There's no way they're the same building. You don't know? Y you didn't notice? They're just lights on the floor being shined on the wall. By reflecting a colored light onto a white wall, it makes it look like the wall color has changed. Wait. Th then what about the picture on the floor? Is that different too? Hey, isn't this the second time this conversation has been had in this episode? <laughs> um... Maybe the floor is just a screen and the picture is being projected from beneath the floor. In fact, when you look at it closely, it's not a picture that was actually drawn on the floor or a decal. I got it. Oh, I see. Then it's safe to say they're the same building, right? <laughs> cool. Hey, ah, good enough for me. But, but this is a very important problem. So isn't it better if we test it out? I mean, that's simple enough. Someone take the elevator to Strawberry House, push the button, and everything should change while someone's inside. Yeah. Test? But how? We ought to do that. There's no reason to assume we have everything figured out. It's like this way it gets confirmation. For example... We should leave something behind here, and we'll all go to Strawberry Tower. Right. And if it's still there, we can conclude that they're the same building, right? Yeah, it might not be safe for someone to stand in here. We don't know what else might happen. I see. You want me to stay then? It's not safe for someone to stand here. We don't know what might happen. Maybe there'll be Hold food. On. No, that's impossible. There's a sensor preventing that. Robo? I can, I can tell with my robo eyes. Huh? Huh? Sensors? Huh? Don't you feel it? There are countless sensors plastered all over the tower's walls and floors. Why do you have that function installed? Why can't you notice that? Why don't you think it's strange that you're a robot? Hey, hey. I'm more surprised that you actually noticed them. Huh? My guess is that sensor can probably detect any movement within the tower. And when it reacts, it prevents the door from opening. I knew there'd at least be something like that. That makes a lot of sense, that there's some way to make it not so easy to prove. Yeah. Well, why is that fact important, though? I don't know. What is it that they're hiding? Yeah. By the way, how good is that sensor's performance? It's quite high performance. It seems they can even detect your heartbeats and breathing patterns. So I should stay here. Then it'd be completely impossible for someone to stay behind unless they're a robot. Hey, hey. What about Nekomaru? He's a heartless robot and he's no longer alive. You shouldn't... You didn't have to say it like that or allude to withered emotomy like that. I have a motor running inside me. It's as good as any human heart. But... But... If you're in sleep mode, that function will come to a stop too, right? Uh-huh. <laughs> I mean, maybe I was the one who pressed that button, huh? Sheesh. Like you said, if I cease all functions with sleep mode, the sensor won't detect it, but... Shushing! Do you need to go that far to test it? I won't tolerate any robo-prejudice. This is not robo-prejudice. This is testing it. But why don't we just leave something here? Yeah, leave an item. There's absolutely no reason... To risk somebody. ...for us to go around and then open the doors to find him dead. Maybe, huh? <laughs> Sorry, you're right. And once I enter sleep mode, I will not regain consciousness until the good night switch is pressed again or if my chest alarm goes off. I I guess I could set the alarm on my chest alarm, but... <laughs> I'm a little concerned about being left alone in that state, wouldn't you? You insolent fool! It is far too dangerous, even as an experiment. It is possible that we might violate the laws of robotics. That's 
That's not the problem you got here. that backwards, Sonia. But you know what else is the problem here? What is the problem? This has just gone on too long. We really do have to stop. I hate to stop in the middle of a conversation. Sometimes that's just how the cookie crumbles. That is how the robo cookie robo crumbles robo. There really needed to be more of Nekomaru saying stuff and adding robo on the end. I'm just saying. I'll keep it under advisement, robo. Nantarompa. Ha 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 